like we're on foot from here. CIC's up ahead. As the title suggests, this is a tactic style game. Not like a traditional Gears title. Is it still enjoyable? As of writing this review, Gears Tactics is only available on the PC and does support using the Xbox controller. I highly recommend sticking to the keyboard and mouse as with some situations, the controller did the exact opposite of what I wanted it to do and usually ended up being killed. As well, it just felt more streamlined with the keyboard and mouse while the controller seemed to be an afterthought. Get into cover, Diaz! You forget how to fight in the motor pool? Something like that. Gears Tactics takes place 12 years before Gears of War. Story-wise, it isn't exciting as other main Gears titles, but for a tactics game, it does just enough to keep you pursuing to the end. There are a few grabs I have with the game besides the controls. First off, being forced to do side missions never bodes well with me. They are side missions for a reason and should never be forced. The main purpose of the side missions in Gears Tactics is to collect upgraded armor and weapons. That is fine, however, it could be more included in the main missions so that side missions could be completely avoided. There! A way around! Break the goddamn scenic route! <laughs> What's the play here? Each mission has an objective you need to complete before moving on. It varies between killing the enemies or making sure you survive a turn wave of explosions. I should note that since the game didn't explain this, is with certain missions your teammates will get stuck in battle and then you can't use them again until the sequence of missions is done. Gears Tactics doesn't warn you of this happening which sucked during my playthrough. It just made things a bit more difficult when you were using your A-team. Near the end of each chapter you get one big final boss with varying weaknesses. The final boss in the game was a bit more challenging compared to the rest so make sure you're prepared with top equipment with the team you are taking. Speaking of equipment, Gears Tactics offers a nice variety as well as a huge skill tree for each player. You are allowed to earn skills with each level up you get. Choose wisely as the chance of you filling up the whole skill tree is very slim. Here we go! open. Well, I. Thankfully the game does have varying difficulty modes from beginner, intermediate, experienced, and insane. I will admit, I am not the best player when it comes to this type of game. I can just imagine how difficult insane is. My walkthrough is played on intermediate difficulty and only really struggled on the final boss of Gears Tactics. My total playtime in Mission Fails was around 18 hours. With that out of the way, is this game worth it considering it only has a single player mode? You can pay the full price of $59.99 for the game if you want, or you can just get the Xbox Game Pass for PC and pay much much less. If you are a hardcore tactics fan, definitely pick up this game, it takes all the boxes. If you are new to it, get on Game Pass to try it out. It might not be your cup of tea and that is perfectly fine. Not every game is built for everyone. Thanks for watching my review of Gears Tactics and if you enjoyed the review, be sure to subscribe.